They were hyper blue in the gloom of the garden, peppered round the raised bed like a high-vis garnish. We'd had our tea. They didn't notice. Me and my brother had gone back out to play in the long grass. What are they, I ask? Those bright blue things over there. I point past the water butt. He turns to stare. And I'm being really brave, yeah, because I'm playing into the hands of his two-year seniority, especially as he knows Super Ted's secret magic word, and he still won't tell me. They're slug pellets, he says, all 80s Liverpool top and unbelievably smug know-it-all look. They put them out at night, he adds, as a snack for the slugs. So they're too full up to eat the other stuff that people want to grow. They're small but really filling, like mashed potato. I say, oh, but why are they bright blue? To catch a slug's eye. Or does it have one? My brother scans the horizon, buying time. To look nice, I mean. Like how a raspberry slush puppy is blue. Slug puppy, I say under my breath. But I believe that what he's saying is true. I suppose it's like putting crusts out for the birds, bottles out for the milkman, or a stocking out for Father Christmas, I say, warming to the theme. My brother nods sagely. Then they're calling us in. And the day after our illuminating slug pellet chat, me and my brother find out that, well, you definitely can't walk on lily pads. Our research is conducted in a pub garden in the lakes, while the grown-ups are sipping halves of bitter shandy in the shade. And we nearly drowned, or so they'd have you believe. But we didn't, because the pond was quite shallow and mostly weeds but we were soaked to the skin and the pub landlady had to give us clothes to go home in. An unbelievable 80s yellow jumpsuit thing for me and a massive pair of Bermuda shorts for him with an extra large t-shirt that said Pantera on the front. I think the closest we came to drowning that day was putting those things on.